Sunweb just just took the ball and ran with it because they they realized that the race was really up to them to drive. And they had uh, Soren Craig Anderson, Tish Benut driving the pace over the last couple of climbs. And it became obvious that when Hershey, their teammate, attacked, it was all about Mark Hershey uh, attacking at the right moment. And and the race was really kind of chaotic in the, uh, over those last two climbs. There was guys attacking all over the place. And it took a little bit of a while for that, for that front group to form. Uh, so Mark Soler was going really well for Movistar. But when Hershey counterattacked Soler's attack, man, he just... It was unbelievable how hard he went up that last climb to over the top. And then the descent of Mark Hershey, again, showing us what he did a few from a few stages ago about how well he descends. And I think he's learned a lot about descending from his agent, Fabian Cancellara. They come both come from the same town in Switzerland. And uh, the way Hershey descends, he uses his disc brakes to the max. It's late braking right before the turn. And we saw a couple of times where he was actually, the, the bike was actually you know, squirrely underneath him as he braked super hard before he started the turn, off the brakes, through the turn, into the super tuck. Uh, it was just awe-inspiring for me to watch him do that descent and, and go to the finish. I completely agree. Mark Hershey is using that bike exactly for what it was designed to be used for the disc brakes you can't you can't descend that fast on a rim brake bike it is this late braking that mark hershey is employing to such great effect to make these descents so fun to watch for us uh sitting on the couch if not a little bit scary but backing up to this category three climb it was an absolute attack fest there were riders all over the place and it was this dynamic duo of tish benute and soren craig anderson we saw these two sunweb riders doing exactly this in perry nice just before the entire season got shut down due to covid 19. those two riders were incredible in that french race soren craig anderson he won the individual time trial taking a lot of people by surprise and what him and tish benute did in the mountains at that race were it was so exciting to watch. They were just on the attack. Those two guys ride so well together. It's awesome to see them land on the same team. But what today's stage had was Mark Hirschi. And while I, Mark Hirschi, he was one of the uh, later riders to attack and bridge up to those two, but it became clear that Mark Hirschi was Team Sunweb's plan today because Soren Craig Anderson, Tish Benut for how good they are, they knew that it was going to be Mark Hershey at the finish, and they did a fantastic job setting him up. Mark Hershey, he went solo, and then the rest of the race was pretty much uh, Soren Craig Anderson and Nicholas Roche, who also managed yeah. to get away from the peloton. They were just patrolling this chasing group, which had really, really good riders. Bob Youngles was in there. Julian Alpha Leap infiltrated it. Uh, they were trying so hard to bring back Mark Hirschi and Nico Roche, who his arm made him look like he was a mummy. Remember, he had a terrible, terrible crash. He was being just lifted off the ground by his team staff just a couple days ago to see him at the front of the race doing a absolutely stellar job for Mark Hirschi up the road today. It was cool. Sunweb, they shut down everything. They gave Mark Hirschi every opportunity and the youngster delivered.